We're just going to get right after it, folks. We've got us a whole chicken here, about six and a half pounds, I think it was, just a smidge over six pounds, 6.4. Bone in. All the jiggly bits are out of the middle. It's ready to go. And we're going to keep it kind of simple. Some Killer Hogs AP seasoning, some salt, pepper, garlic, and a little bit of poultry seasoning. And that's it. I've got the pit barrel fired up, and I'm using some lump charcoal. I've used lump charcoal with it in the past, and I've had kind of mixed results. Uh, not in the cook, everything's tasted wonderful. The mixed results have been in, you know, in, incomplete burn, I would say. It doesn't seem to burn as well as, as briquettes, at least in this setup. And then we're going to use a little bit of poultry seasoning here. So this is just some poultry seasoning from a local place. And the reason that we're doing this, we would like to find out how good it works. I've seen a few videos on YouTube. It looks like it works out pretty well because we want to do a uh, whole turkey in it. We figured this would be a pretty, pretty good experiment. We'll do it with a little chicken before we do the whole turkey. I'll put this guy over. That's about it, folks. One thing I don't have is the chicken holder. Uh, Pit Barrel makes an actual poultry hook, I guess. So we're gonna do our best attempt uh, without it. I was thinking, well, let's just see. Wants to hang pretty good like that. So I'm thinking if we come through the breast, you know, perhaps right here under the wing, might be a good option. So let's just see about coming in right here. Yeah, that pokes you up to the middle. I'll just do one on each side, I'm thinking. Coming right here under the wing. Something like so. And then we can hang it like that. A little closer so you guys can see. You know, perhaps hang it something like this. I think will do us good. Put in just about a handful of some applewood chips. Move that one right out of the way. Just think the chicken right here in the center. Put that back on. Three o'clock now, we'll come back in a couple hours see what it looks like. Been a bit over an hour, hour and 20 minutes or so. Oh man, dude, that's looking great. It's looking amazing. Oh, it's got some real nice color to it. It's getting split down there a little bit, but other than that, I'd say it looks good. It's still dripping, still all juicy. Just outside of the two hour mark, I wanna see where we're at for temp. Try the middle of this breast here. 166, 167 on that side. Try to get in the middle of this one here. 169. So 
So down here, I thought we should be good down here. Oh yeah, 183. She's, she's cooked. Oh yeah, it's cooked really well. Waiting for Mrs. O to get home. Should be home very shortly. Woo, she's hot. I'm gonna take and cover this up with some foil for the time being. Get them babies out of there, but they're pretty toasty. Man, it looks great, to be honest with you. Oh, dog's barking. Mrs. O might be home right now. Oh, man, it looks good. Oh, yeah, that looks, that looks great, man. All in all, about two hours. This baby was a smidge over six pounds. Just under six and a half. Just about two hours. And that brought it up to 167 over here. About 170 over there. So definitely done. It looks great. Mrs. O is it, back. It looks doesn't really that, good. Doesn't that look good? Yeah. I, I'm not really, not a big breaking down a turkey guy, but oops. Oof. I don't think, yeah. You want to get a plate? <laughs> no, I just want to eat it. Hopefully it didn't get too dried up. Oh man, look at that. That baby's juicy. You see that? Juices? Oh yeah. Oh man. She's toasty. So that sucker is juicy. You can see it running right out of there. Holy cow. lost the good part so yeah that thing is pretty darn juicy there you go just pieces off the breast yeah that's fine oh man it's a little bit warm miss though <laughs> got some welding gloves to wear Did you make us anything else to eat with the chicken? Nope, just meat. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, we can eat it with it. You've been gone, so this is what I was going to feed the children. What? I said you've been gone, so this is what I was going to feed the children. Just meat. I got some greens for you. Okay. I knew you wouldn't let us down. Do you want to test drive this? Man, it looks great. Are you going to test drive my salad? Mm-hmm. <laughs> What, what is it? Kale and onions and chickpeas? Oh uh, no, those are onions. That's funnel. Oh. oh. There's chickpeas. There is some red onions. See the little red bits. Um, what, what do you have for dressing? Just some oil? No, it's a uh, lemon Dijon dressing. Oh right, yeah, you gave me a bite of that yesterday. That was pretty good. You want to test? You want to test some of this, or what do you want to test? I don't know. Anything. <laughs> Pick one. So I want to eat this one, but that's a little bit. That's a bit much. Let's try this. With some skim. Ooh. Is it good? It's crunchy. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's legit. That mm -hmm. is good. All, all I put on it was salt, pepper, garlic, the AP seasoning, and some poultry seasoning. That was it. Okay. And some apple wood. Mm-hmm. Very good. So I think what we'll do is we'll just finish cutting it up. We'll serve it up. We have a bunch of starving children. Mm-hmm. Right, children? Yes, Papa. <laughs> <laughs> They've been asking how long since we put it in. So we'll leave it at that, folks. We're going to sit here and... Pick off this carcass, serve some dinner, eat some of Mrs. O's salad, and now that we know that we can do this successfully, perhaps next time we'll do a turkey as I indicated in the beginning of this video, 
and see how that maybe turns out. Because this thing turned out fantastic. So, thanks for watching. I tell you what, folks, if we do a turkey, or I should say when we do a turkey, if it tastes half as good as that chicken just did, that was amazing. That was a really, really good chicken. And we've ate we've eaten we eat a lot of chicken I tell you what I think we're gonna start doing it <laughs> that way because that's pretty inexpensive uh, you know usually you can get a you know roaster chicken for seven or eight bucks at least you can around our area and that feeds a family of five so that's you know a pretty inexpensive meal but super super tasty uh, absolutely fantastic so I'm really looking forward to getting a turkey and doing the whole thing I'll probably buy the turkey holder there from pit barrel so it doesn't you know stretch and fall apart on us and I've been wanting to get the poultry one anyways but we will certainly be doing more uh, whole chickens that's for sure anyhow thanks again for watching